The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Only on balls.co.za. So we've played the trailers for this week's latest releases. Let's talk Elysium first. That looks pretty damn cool and it's Neil Blomkamp. It is indeed. Huh? That's uh, certainly uh, the one that I will uh, put my name against for what you should go <laughs> and watch this, this weekend. Uh, both great films, but that one's more my cup of tea. Yeah, a lot of talk about Elysium um, because uh, for various reasons, I think the South African angle is uh, is quite a big one. Um, as mentioned, it's uh, Neil Blomkamp who uh, obviously made himself famous on his directing District 9. Yep. Also has uh, also has some great actors, uh, Matt Damon and Jodie Foster. Yeah, uh, it's so nice to see Jodie Foster and, uh, again. I haven't seen her for a while. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, she's uh, she's really good in it. Um, and uh, and uh, I'll tell you who uh, potentially steals the show is uh, Sholto. Oh, is he in it? Um, from, oh. uh, you know, from, from 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 District Nine, he plays a South African. Oh, uh, South African brilliant. playing a South African. So uh, if if for no other reason, you've got to go and uh, hear a real proper South African accent, you know, in a big Hollywood uh, blockbuster. Oh. Um, so that's Shalter Kop- Kop- He plays. Uh, he plays. He's in fact the bad guy. So I think gone are the days when when the, when the Russians or the uh, the North Koreans uh, or the Chinese play the bad guys. Now it's the South Africans <laughs> playing the bad guys. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> Great opportunity for I South African we, actors. <laughs> We've become public enemy number one <laughs> accidentally, but uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a really it's a really great action film. It's uh, as a uh, it's, it's set in the future. It is an interesting fact. It's set in twenty one fifty four A D. Okay. And that's the exact same year that Avatar was set in. Oh, so interesting. A, a, a lame piece of trivia. No, um, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> For my next it's, quiz. Uh, uh, so, Indeed, uh, so it, it's it's set in the um, uh, set in the future. It's it, uh, there's kind of a wealthy uh, who's uh, a wealthy subset of of humanity are now placed on this uh, space station, while the rest of the population is lives on Earth, which is kind of in ruin. Um, oh, okay. And it's it's a story follows Matt Damon, who uh, makes it his mission to try and bring this equality. Um, between the two, uh, the typical Neil Blomberg, uh, Blomkamp fashion. There's there's great uh, sort of under underlying stories that that, that that are told in this in this fictional piece of uh, uh, of films. But uh, really, really cleverly written and directed. Um, the South African flavour of it for me is just absolutely superb. Um, I'm and also sold. Has a couple of other South Africans. So obviously, Charles Copley has been the most famous, but. Brandon Orette plays, uh, who's uh, made himself famous for many years, playing Goop on uh, Easy Dingo. Nice, um, Brad. He, uh, he, he, he plays Shalto Copley's uh, kind of sidekick. One of, and there's, there's a couple of other South Africans in the in the team of the uh, of, of the bad. Oh, <laughs> so a couple of South Africans, obviously, uh, mainly uh, being the uh, being Shalto and of course Neil Blomkamp, who's the director and a South African himself. That's oh, that's so nice. I mean, it would it would be a bit like off putting if Neil didn't cast any South Africans as, in one of his films. That would offend exactly. me. Exactly, and it's quite nice the fact that he he seems to go back uh, for more. And I think it's not purely been from a biased point of view. Those of you who've seen District Nine would have seen uh, um, how the South Africans that did uh, were cast and that how well they actually performed. Absolutely, and it's great seeing uh, you know fellow South Africans uh, really coping and excelling on the uh, on the top stage um, on the Hollywood uh, platform. So, Definitely. so really encouraging to see that. Well, I'm sold on that one. I'm, I don't usually like science fiction movies, but I'm definitely sold on that, especially, especially for the yeah. South African it's element. Also, it's, it's, even though it's set in the future, Ali, it is more, I would say it's definitely more of an action okay. film than it, is more, than it is science fiction. So uh, okay. if others like you are not in for a big science fiction, it's certainly it's not a Star Trek type film. It's uh, very much more of an action film um, uh, than, than it is science fiction. But definitely, I think it's a great film. To, especially for a South African to, to go and watch. I mean, the the, uh, the, 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 the cars and the spacecraft and stuff from the baddies, they all are painted in, in South African flags. So it's, just, <laughs> it's quite a few things that will just bring a smile to your face. Oh and gosh. especially the accent. Wow, it's, uh, it's, it's not just a South African accent like you or I have. It is a real 
Afrikaans from the South accent oh, that, really? that Charlton uh, puts on, which, uh, in, uh, which, which makes you smile every time he rolls his R. Oh, brilliant. Opposite Matt Damon and J.D. Foster. It's great one. Love it. My, definitely my movie of the week. Okay. And do you want to touch on Percy Jackson? I don't think we're the right yeah, age bracket quickly, it's aiming at. but um, very quickly, Percy Jackson, uh, Sea of Monsters. It's a sequel to the 2010 uh, original Percy Jackson. Charles Logan Lerman, who uh, obviously was from the first one, who plays Houston's son. Uh, he obviously uh, also made himself famous in the film Perks of Pina Walsla, which he did really well in. They've spent a lot more money on this film. Okay. Um, so the special effects are tenfold of what they were. Um, the 3D of this film is really good. So uh, uh, it's certainly something to look out for. It's kind of a family adventure. It doesn't carry a high age description. So keen for a, a more of a family adventure film for for the weekend uh, has a, has a because of the most of the uh, uh, actors in it are sort of teens themselves it has a lot of teen appeal um so for a for a harmless adventure film as a sequel to the original Percy Jackson that's, a, that's another alternative for you to watch this weekend at the Thirteen of Theatre. Brilliant. Okay. So, and if you think the cast are pretty good looking which the, which they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, there's all, there's all with that. Eh? Okay, but my my choice this week is also Elysium. Am I saying it right? Ah, we're we're on the same page. Definitely watch it. Yeah, I promise okay. you, you won't be sorry. And Brad, do you have a a question for us? A, a movie question I for us? I do indeed. Eh? For a for, for a pair of movie tickets. Okay, hit us. So, and of uh, course, be, you can tweet keeping, your answer. Keeping... Sorry, sorry, Brad. Just to let everyone know, you yep. tweet your answer to Haley Owen S A, and you can hashtag S K Theaters um, in in your tweet, and we'll be giving away those two movie tickets. All right, let us have it, Brad. Cool. Here's the question. So, in keeping with the South African theme, uh, question uh, is around Charlto Copley. So he, uh, we've already mentioned, he made himself famous in District 9. He again plays the lead role in Elysium, which starts today. But in 2010, Charlto starred in which film, which was based on an 80s hit TV show? I know, I know. (laughs) That's a good one, though. Don't say, you you can't win the ticket. (laughs) So uh, uh, I'll repeat that again. Charlto in 2010 starred in what film? based on an 80s hit TV show. Okay, so we need the name of the film. Tweet me, Haley Owen SA, with your answer, and you could be walking away with a pair of movie tickets. So you could go see the latest releases at Stir Kinnacle this weekend. Thanks, Brad. No problem at all. Ali, you have yourself a cracker weekend. You too. Cheers. The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Only on balls.co.za.